When we ain't stressed out, just good wine. When I look in the mirror, y'all look fine. Good people, times, and good wine. Good wine. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee Chantel and welcome. For those of you that are new, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I am one of a kind. For those of you returning, what up? <laughs> so today is the long awakening of can we sublimate on a Dollar Tree mug? Is it possible? Can anybody figure out a solution on how to sublimate on a Dollar Tree mug? Well, we are going to experience that. I did try a mug about a week or so ago. It didn't work out too well, so I was starting to think like a scientist, adding equations to get the sublimation print onto the cup. <laughs> so I think I know what I have to do, and we're gonna try it together and see if we can succeed in doing this with the help of this poly acrylic spray. So I made this, um, originally for t-shirts and then I just randomly was thinking hmm if this works on t-shirts on 100% cotton t-shirts then this might work on a coffee mug that you can't sublimate on right that's my mind thinking so what I did was I created this solution it was what was it one cup of water I'll put it on the screen somewhere uh, one cup of water I believe and two tablespoons of poly acrylic spray, I believe. So I got this poly acrylic spray, bear with me. I got it all labeled and stuff, I don't wanna take it out. But it's this poly acrylic spray, or um, can, clear top coat, clear mat from Hobby Lobby. Picked it up, mixed it with some water in this spray bottle I bought. And it worked well in my uh, cotton t-shirt, so. I sprayed it on this cup from Dollar Tree. I don't know if you can see the matte finish on it, but it's been sitting for about, about three weeks or so. So it's, it's nicely coated. I haven't touched it. We are going to give that a try. We're going to try it. I'm not gonna show you guys um, how to print your images. I'm sure by now, after all my videos, you know how to get your images from your computer. We're just gonna jump right on into it. All right, you guys, so I just whipped this image up. I got my future logo that I'm gonna have later for my business and just some pink butterflies just so we can see how well it transfers the colors. Just some of my, you know, just whipped together myself real quick for the purpose of this video. <laughs> but hopefully it turns out nice. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna rock this, put my coffee in it. And um, yeah, <laughs> so yeah, this is what we're working with, so. And the size I have for this is, I measured the cup. So I got to add all around the cup or to the handle, it's 10 inches and then the height is four. So let's go ahead and print this out and get started. We are ready to press this. Wish me luck, y'all. <laughs> Wish me luck. Let's do this. All right, so I got my heat press set to 390 for 60 seconds. Oh, don't forget your heat gloves. So I'm gonna let it go for Sixty-five seconds. Let's see what that does. See if that'll help out. So we're gonna go ahead and slide this in. Slide this in like so. Kind of hold it to 
press it because I think this cup is too big and I didn't switch out and put the right attachment in, but that's okay. We're gonna try to get this done. I did it for about two rounds. So, so far, I'm seeing some see-through, some color coming through. I don't know, I think I might have figured it out. We'll see. Let's go ahead and pull this baby off. I don't know, y'all, I'm kinda nervous. I'm kinda nervous. I really hope this works, because I'm seeing a lot of color popping through. Let's rip it up. Let's do this. Not looking good. Not looking good at all. Oh. Man. Those colors tricked me. It was really showing through like it's on the cup. I tried y'all. It's a no. It's a no. You can only use Dollar Tree for permanent vinyl, I guess. Man, I was really hoping this would work. Man, it's okay. We can't win them all. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Comment down below if you figured out how to sublimate on a Dollar Tree mug. I want, I want your contact. <laughs> but until then, I am Ronnie Chantel, and I will see you in the next video.